was in on Chalk for Kenny uh, just uh, over t uh, 10 minutes. So thank you, Gohirlik, and, and I want to welcome the Minister in the House today. Um, the purpose of the legislation before the House today is to establish a statutory framework for the Oireachtas to conduct inquiries within the current constitutional framework as set down by the Supreme Court in the Maguire case, which is also referred to as the Apilara Judgment. I know that Minister Howland strongly supports the objective of undertaking an effective and robust parliamentary banking inquiry. This bill envisages a central role for the Oireachtas in both initiating and conducting a parliamentary inquiry. The bill contains extensive provisions in relation to fair procedures and the conduct of members of committees to avoid any perception of bias. Additionally, its inquiries conducted under this statutory scheme will be governed by and subject to guidelines that may be issued by the Houses of the Oireachtas. The Constitution position is that it would not be permissible for the Oireachtas to legislate to create a power for the Houses of the Oireachtas to conduct inquiries that would have implications for the reputations of individuals unless a specific constitutional authorization for such a power can be identified. It is constitutional, however, for the Oireachtas to conduct inquiries that have no implications for the, uh, for the reputation of individuals and also for the Oireachtas to hold, uh, quote, forward-looking, unquote, parliamentary inquiries that are geared towards policy and legislative issues. The Dáil has an implicit constitutional power to conduct inquiries in order to hold the government responsible, even if this affects the reputation of, of individuals, but it does not extend to investigating the activities of past governments, provided that an inquiry is a bona fide attempt to operate within constitu cons constitutional constraints it is not constitutionally problematic that inferences adverse to people's reputations may be drawn. The legislation before the House today would provide legal certainty in this area. It would, it would provide the necessary framework for an inquiry operating under proper constitutional authority to carry out its functions. It would address all ancillary powers, procedures and the creation of offences necessary for the conduct of an inquiry. As well as that, it would effectively balance the public interest in the investigation of matters of importance with the protection of the cons constitutional right to the good name of the individual in a manner that would be robust and would withstand pos possible constitutional challenge. Of the five separate types of inquiry that can be held under this legislation, I am particularly interested in inquiries related to a legislative function, as this is where I think work of real benefit can be done. This is appropriate where information on past events is believed to be directly relevant to a forward-looking issue, such as the case for new legislation. An inquiry of this nature would have potential to make findings of fact which could indirectly have an, adver an adverse reputational effect for an individual, but would not be permitted to make findings having direct adverse effect on the reputation of the individual. The final decision on the holding of an inquiry under this legislation is subject to the endorsement of the Dáil and the Shannon by way of a resolution, which would include detailed terms of reference. Full, and full compliance with, with provisions on fair procedures are required by any inquiry. This is absolutely essential, particularly where the good name of a person has the potential to be adversely affected by the findings of that inquiry, even by inference or in relation to the conduct of an inquiry. Full procedural fairness is, again, absolutely essential, in spite of the inquiry possibly having no scope make findings that could have an adverse effect on the reputation of individuals. Access to the courts will be unfettered in relation to all procedural aspects of the inquiry process and remains open at all times. If individuals feel the need to seek relief in the courts, then that route is open to them. And I feel that this provision is vital. Uh, it needs to be made clear that there are extensive requirements in the bill to safeguard the constitutional rights of any person participating in an inquiry, including the right to challenge proceedings where they believe that an inquiry is being conducted in breach of this bill. The giving of advance notice of the evidence proposed to be given against them, against an individual, and the ability to cross-examine the witness for the purpose of challenging the allegation and the provision of evidence to the inquiry to answer the allegation, as well as closing submissions when the giving of evidence has been completed. These provisions are further strengthened by the ability of a person to request the committee to direct specific, specified persons to attend before it in order to give evidence or to direct the committee to send for specified documents. Uh, Kyle, like, this is a complex and delicate piece of legislation that, uh, which has serious constitutional implications around the area of civil rights and civil liberties. 
Given that those rights and liberties are of the most profound value in any democracy, we simply must get this legislation right in order to safeguard what we value so much. I feel that Minister Howell has got a balance right in the legislation and in that con constitutional rights are upheld while providing for an effective structure for effective inquiries. I support the bill. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Deputy. And